Hi everybody, Lydia here on Build Show Network and today we're going to talk all about drywall touch-up. So depending on your job, what you have going on, this is a level three, it's going to get textured, but we still go through and we touch up. And if it's smooth wall, touch up is a huge part of the job, either before or after prime. Sometimes we do before prime, sometimes we come in after prime because after the prime coat, you can see more and you can have a little more touch up. But typically we try to do all of our touch up before the paint goes on. That way everything's feathered and sanded in nicely. So when we're looking at doing touch up, something that helps is to tint your mud. So I just have some chalk here, just is straight up line chalk. You can also use gel colorings. There's a, a company called Never Miss and they make like a gel coloring additive that you can add to your mud. And the nice thing about this is when it's colored, it'll stand out. So as you can tell behind me, white on white on white on white is not going to show you anything. Like you could have a touch up spot right there and you would have no clue because everything just blends together. So when we color the mud, it makes it easier for us to then find that spot later on and to make sure that we are not missing spots. And then also, you know, you've been in a room too, when you can walk in and you see, you know, your color touch up kind of jumping back out at you. So an important thing about using touch up colors and touch up pigments is this mud, you know, by itself, it's soft. Once we start adding chalk or additives in there, it will change the consistency of this mud. So it's very important that you are not dumping in a too much chalk. Like if I was to dump this whole bottle in there, it's going to make this mud a lot harder than the mud that's on the walls. So all I'm going to do is do about that much. I could even do less than that. All I want to do is add color and some pigment to my mud. And I like using chalk. The gels are nice too. Chalk is made of gypsum. Mud is made of gypsum. So, you know, it's a good, um, good thing to add because it's kind of it has the same properties. So, you know, just mix it all up. Again, I'm not looking for a crazy tint here. I'm just looking for something I'm going to be able to find later. Okay, so now we're going to go on the wall and we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit our touch up spots. So when we run our boxes, we always stop the butt before it's into the flat. So we always grab that spot there cross off our butts into our flats. And then as you can see here, it's just very lightly different tint so I can help find it later. I'm also doing nice, thin, tight touch up. Um, you know, if I come in and I leave a big glob like that, or if I'm doing really heavy touch up, it's not going to want to sand in nicely. And then you'll always be able to see it. So when I'm doing touch up and when you're at the point of where you should be doing touch up, you really should have very minor things that you're doing. So thinner mud, not too much chalk, and we really want to just be leaving very small amounts of mud. So another thing we do is we cross off where our flats come into our angles. And then, of course, you know, say you miss a row of screws. And then... I'm also looking for any little pinholes or pock marks or uneven or not very smooth spots in my flat. So for texture, we wouldn't be touching up. I'm kind of taking this like to a smooth wall level. So like right here, I can tell there's just a little ding. And then I'm not liking texture of that mud right there. It's a little bit more raised. So again, super tight. There's a little nick right there. And then again. It's something that will happen as you're at this stage because we should have already sanded and now we're doing our touch up is you'll start to get a lot of dust in your mud. So your mud will start to get really thick and not so smooth. So don't be afraid to dump it and then start all over again with a fresh batch of mud. You can also tint full buckets if you so choose. Um, you can mix up a bucket and just tint right in the bucket. I usually just tint by pan. Um, we don't usually have a lot of touch up on our jobs. We try to do everything really clean. So it's rare that we need a lot. Something that is kind of cool about the colored mud is if you are running multiple crews, 
you can assign colors to people. So say, you know, your top coat guys, they're running blue mud and then your skim coat guys are running purple mud and then you got yellow mud and green mud. So it's kind of fun. You can kind of know who's been where and you can assign colors to people. So it's kind of a cool way to keep track, especially on very large commercial jobs when you've got different crews running in and out of there all the time. So, um, you know, just kind of a nice trick of the trade. You can always find it later and it makes getting your touch up and getting that smooth wall perfect that much easier. So that is it for me this week. You can catch me every week on Build Show Network and you can also find me on my socials. I'm under Drywall Shorty on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Catch you guys next week.